Organic producers and retailers could be feeling the brunt after a scientific report suggested that organic food does not provide any significant health benefits. The study was conducted by Dr. Alan Dangauer with his research team at the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. His research, funded by the Food Standards Agency, could hit the £2 billion a year organic industry in the UK, which is already losing sales in the recession. It's certainly been another slap in the face for the organic food industry. Um, for whatever reason, I think because of the recession, we have been having a certain amount of negative press of it's too expensive, it's a waste of money, and when times are tight, people should you know, eat conventionally. And I think a lot of the major supermarkets have backed away from organic food and are stocking less and less. Um, our business is based on organic food, that's why our customers come here and they're still coming here. Dr. Dan Gower has hit back at claims his research does not take into account the long-term effects of pesticides on the human body, something he says the study was not meant to assess. Um, I'm a scientist. I'm not pro-organic. I'm not anti-organic. I'm a scientist. I'm interested in the evidence. I wanted to know, is there any evidence that organic food is nutritionally superior to conventionally produced foods? We now know from reviewing all of the evidence ever published that there's no important differences between organic produced foods and conventionally produced foods. The FSA who commissioned the study said the message was not that people should avoid organic food, but they should eat a healthy and balanced diet.